this quite panel a few. here. Um, more diverse than last time, actually. You want uh, go ahead, Fresh. You go. You, you just... Okay. Ladies have some questions for us here on the panel. Question. First question is, why do women of today think being in control in a relationship is the best way to be? And so, you can claim responsibility for the question if, if you, you want, want or you can just keep it anonymous and don't say anything. So again, why do women of today think being in a control in a relationship is the best way to be? You want to answer that? I think they're just scared of like having guys be in control because there's no real, real trust. And I think that, like for example, their way of thinking is better than our th way of thinking. That's what I think. But honestly, it's just like their ego, in my opinion. What You're too you polite. <laughs> I'm really tired, so I'm just gonna say what the fuck it is. They're because they're fucking stupid. Because they're fucking dumb. Like stupid. How dare you? Women, like I mean, name me one civilization that has lasted through time with women leadership. Can anybody? <clears throat> I could chime in. Sure. Sure. Um, okay. So last time I checked, it was never any real women leadership oh. to begin with. Okay. That's my point. To All even right. lead by example. Not saying women cannot lead. There was no prime example lead. for leading. But they can't. That's my why, point. Why can't that? they? They can't. They can't. <laughs> if the mindset's so different, what prevents a woman from leading? From doing well, it. Well, because here's the thing. Okay. So, okay. So why would men get in the stump? They expect to lean on women to be providers. And when they're bums and stuff, they lean for the woman to take lead. Why would you well, want to be with a bum? If a woman place? can't lead, <laughs> no, I'm not saying for me specifically. I'm saying males how they depend on women and how they depend on women for financial, emotional support. Because there's some out there. You can see it from example. It's not being blind. Yeah, of course. Obviously, have they're you been leading. with those types of men? Me personally, no. Yeah. You I'm never not, have. I have. Who's been with those when types of men? I was like a kid, pen, but pen, I learned from that. Okay, you know? who's been with a guy that you had to? Take care pay of. the you know majority of the bills oh and take God, care of and be a leader. Eight years of my life. Oh yeah, she complained about it. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. Would it be fair to say that it simply doesn't work? It, it does not. not. No. Thank you for proving my point. That's why women can't be leaders. Wait, what? That is. They don't even see that I just walked right into it. No. I just walked into it. You triggered my track card. Wait, you just you just turned it on. No, I feel like I feel like none of us none of us like want to like. Like inherently feel like that's the right thing to do, but if we really wanted right, to, exactly. we could like put our all into it and make it happen. We're we still just humans, naturally but like, don't feel like we should. Yeah, so we no, don't I feel put like that it might be of... more. Yeah, it might be more of a struggle for us to do it than it would be for you guys. Right. Exactly. So therefore, you're not built to be a leader because being a leader, you know, what the most important thing about being a leader is being consistent. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but and why doing can... it long term. Can I okay, but why? That's one of the most important things. Why can't we both be leaders? Why can't we do it together? Why can't we work together? Wait, two leaders at the same time? Why can't we like? We're together, right? So I can be both be no, leaders. Two leaders at the, at the same time. Guy and girl. Mm -hmm. We're we're conquering each other. So I can't. Right, so what you just leaders. said precisely proves why women can't be leaders. <laughs> that makes no co sense from a cognitive standpoint. Like think about it. You're supporting me, and I'm supporting you. If there's never been a woman if, leader, if you do I understand that for work. there That's to be I'm a saying. leader. That's what I'm saying. That means there needs to be a follower. Therefore, yeah. if there's both leaders, then no one is it's following. following. I mean, this nowadays men are following women. I don't want to lead every and trade. Is, and where does that let us? For fresh no <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it leads no, to Obviously, y'all don't have enough control to get your men together because all the men are coming to no, us. To your point, a lot of guys are not leaders. Hundred percent. That, that yeah. wasn't the question. But the question wasn't. The question wasn't, oh, can, like, you know, why are men not leading? That, that wasn't the question. The question was, why do women feel the need to lead? And I'm saying because they're stupid. If you're leading in a relationship as a woman, you're a fucking idiot because you're attractive. More, more, it's not hard to be attractive as a female. It's not hard to get male attention as a, as a woman. And you can find a guy that could probably do something for you. Is he going to be the most attractive guy? Is he going to be six foot five? Is he going to have char charm and charisma and nice teeth? Probably fucking not. But guess what? If he's a leader, take him. But a lot of women want a guy that has the full package, and you're just not going to get it. A lot of you women don't qualify for the man that you want. That's the problem. If we're going to be all the way honest, your standards are too goddamn high. Yep. And also, uh, pick better men, you know? Yep. Yeah. Eight but years. the problem is that they want to be a leader and have all those other things I mentioned. There's a bunch of guys out there that will pay the bills and take care of you, but they just won't look the greatest. Mm -hmm. They might not be tall. They might not be <laughs> super charismatic and funny and charming and all this other shit that women want. But I genuinely believe if you're a woman and you're in a relationship with a guy and you're the leader, you're a fucking dumbass. You're literally a dumbass. And you deserve the misery that comes your way. Just like I would tell a man, if you're in a relationship with a woman and she's bossing you around and treating you like shit, you're a fucking dumbass and you deserve the misery that comes your way because you basically allowed yourself 
to be emasculated by a woman, and now she's in her masculine, and you're in your feminine. It doesn't work that way. It's trying to put a square peg in a round hole. It's not going to work. It's almost like both parties are getting cucked at the same time. Essentially, yeah. Yeah. So both parties are stupid. It's just that, notice you guys gave me, and I said that on purpose. Notice how I said, you're as a lady, you're fucking stupid. All of them had this reaction. Oh, my God. But when I said, if you're a man in your relationship with a girl that's emasculated, treating like chill. shit, you're a fucking idiot. Nobody said anything. I, I noticed I, I was watching you all. You. But when I said it, as a woman, you're an idiot. Whoa, what do you mean? Whoa. But we don't like to tell them the truth that, like, you. you guys can be idiots, too, and you guys do a lot of dumb shit, if I'm going to be honest. Like, if I was, like, I told my sister this shit. Yo, you want to be successful, you want to be a fucking doctor, etc. You better find a fucking guy that's a doctor just like you while you're still young and attractive, dummy. Because when you hit 30, you ain't going to be able to find that fucking guy. And you're like, oh, shit, why are you going to say it like that? Yeah, you fucking idiot. This is the, how the world works. We don't give a fuck about your money. We don't give a fuck about your status. We don't give a fuck about your doctor title. Find a guy on your level while you're still attractive because when you get older, you're not going to be able to pull that guy. And she found a guy. But if I didn't give it to her straight like that, she would have, oh, I'm going to hold out and find a guy when I'm older and more successful. Fuck no, you won't. Mm -hmm. He's going to fuck all the nurses and shit. But, yep, you know, nurses. you got to tell girls the uncomfortable truth. It's just interesting how when I give you guys that truth, you guys are like, ooh. I'm curious. When you said women are, well, some are kind of like not smart, how did it make you feel? I agree 100% because a lot of girls, I mean, I'm not talking about the girls that are here, but from what I've experienced, definitely there's a lot of girls that try to one-up the guy in a relationship. And by the way, I did write that that question. But this was you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. Um, I just feel like in today's day and age, a lot of women feel the, the need to one-up the guy because of what they've, they've had to experience in the past, mm. as in players or the guy cheating on them, playing with their emotions. So they feel like they have to match their energy now. Mm. And it's not helping us because we're not those kind of people. We're women. We're supposed to be loyal. So being loyal as a woman is completely different from a man in many aspects well said all right okay. yeah okay interesting <laughs> anybody else yeah i mean i'm sure a bunch of you've probably been in a relationship with a guy that was a brokey and you had to support him and it was probably a miserable experience or existence and you hated it yeah you could do it for a day for a week maybe even a month but at some point you're going to grow to resent and get angry at that guy us on the other hand we're not like that we can provide and protect for a girl and we're not going to get mad we'll be like yeah it's my girl it's kind of my job to take care of this girl and like also, we're, we're not, we, we don't have that issue where what I've realized with girls is like, if a girl's like going half with you or sharing her money with you, it becomes a problem after a while. Yeah. You as a guy though, like if the girl's like hot and not a pain in the ass and you like her, you don't mind spending money on her, but women have a big problem with spending money on you in general or all, all the time. That's why if a girl gets you a gift, awesome. But are they going to pay the bills every month? Are they going to keep the lights on? Are they going to pay your mortgage? Probably not, dude. <laughs> And, and if, if they do, they're going to treat you like shit while they do it. Exactly. <laughs> so, I don't know. Do anybody disagree with that? I don't, I'll open it up for discussion here. I mean, shit, eight, eight years of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How was that? Eight years of that shit. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Mm -hmm. Like, I put up with it for so long because I thought it was my only option. Mm. Until I actually honored myself and broke away from the relationship and saw what life could offer. Would you say that you were dumb for doing that? Stupid. <laughs> Not dumb. I tried to maintain. I tried so hard. Oh, bro, I got so, so far. Bro, she, no, I tried to maintain it. it. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't even matter. I should hurt her, man. Like, I should hurt her yeah, soul, bro. But it hurt his masculinity that I was earning more money than him. So it made yeah. him feel Le less, less than, than a man. Right. Yeah. You know what's crazy? At that moment of time for him, you know why he felt like that too? Because you were doing his role. So yeah. by default, what's he going to do to you? Cheat on you. He couldn't do okay, more that's his, I was doing that's more. Okay, that's his place to pick up. Like, no, no, but her being that provider in that environment makes so him less So what do you want? Do you no, no, want no. a woman you're, you're that feeds off point. of you no, no, or no, no. be you're, a provider? You're missing a big point here. She lost her prime years to this fucking dude. Mm. Yeah. For real. For real. That's that, 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 she like, won't get it back. <laughs> she ain't going to get that back. She went from 19 to 27. So basically, he finessed her. Yeah. Basically. Okay, yeah, so... So, so ladies, do you see why now I say you're dumb if you allow a guy to waste your fucking time and you pay the bills for him? Because you guys have a finite amount of time to find a guy. Eight years, my nigga? That's crazy. God, I'm glad you found a guy now. But, like, for bro, now. yeah, ladies, like, you do realize that by, like, when you hit, like, 30, your chances of getting a guy, like, drop off precipitously, right? You do realize that. 
like being able to find an attractive guy that you want, man, your dreams like drops off significantly once you hit 30. Does everyone know that? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, it, it's just like, so if, if you're wasting your time with a dude that's not taking care of you, like, what are you doing? Genuinely, what are you doing? What, if you're with a guy that like is, is um, that isn't a leader, isn't competent or central, what are you doing? Wasting your time. What are you doing? Like I, <laughs> on this podcast, like we give a lot of advice to men, like, you know, how to navigate a dating marketplace, how to find a girl that's worthy, et cetera, giving her a relationship. But if I was to give advice to women, genuinely, for all the girls that are watching now, because we're getting a lot more girls watching this shit. If you're with a guy right now and you're going half on the bills or he can't fucking tell you we're going to go do there this, he's not decisive, what are you doing? Wasting time. <laughs> what the fuck are you she doing? She called it. Because you guys only got really like a prime uh, 12, 15 years. If maybe if you go to the gym, etc. You had a point? Yeah, so if you're giving advice to men too, shouldn't there be the advice of you need to step up and stop letting of this course. woman pay your bills? That's why we do our daytime show. Okay, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. We have a whole yeah, podcast. Part. Part. We don't just talk to y'all. Thank you for addressing that. I'd be bald if I did that. No, we talk to, we, do, we have daytime shows where we talk about how to make money, how to become successful, et cetera. This nighttime show is just after hours. That's why it's called after hours. Um, but, you know, are we going to reach every single guy? Let's be realistic here. Probably not. Most guys are fucking simps. Most guys think that the female way of thinking is the best way to think. But the reality is women are attracted to fucking assholes that are sexist like me. <laughs> I think sexism is good because sexism makes me a gentleman. Sexism makes me realize that we're different. Sexism lets me say, I think I'm supposed to be the leader and you're supposed to follow. You know, sexism is opening the door for your girl, etc. All this traditional stuff that women want, it's rooted in sexism. Merry Christmas. Yeah, that part. <laughs> it's just that they get mad when I say you're dumb if you don't like do X, Y, Z. But it's like that's that's sexism, and sexism is good. It's good for women. I think sexism benefits women. It doesn't benefit men. Not really. It's expensive for us. Okay? Very. very. <laughs> All right. What's that's one here. Uh, how does a man know when they found the one? And I put the one in quotes, basically. If they lost her, do they take dating the same? So it's a two-part question. How does a man find, or how does a man know that they found the one, and then if they did lose her, uh, is dating the same? Yes. Go, Chris. I mean, there is no one. (laughs) Then uh, if we lose her, on to the next one. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Simply put, what do you think? All right. Controversial take here, but I I agree with Chris. I don't think there's the one, and I'll tell you why before you guys get angry at me and say that's. How dare you! The things that men look for in women are very easy to find. I know, you guys are like, what the fuck are you talking about? Well, just be quiet. Don't be a pain in the ass. Don't be a whore. Don't yell. Don't be annoying. Don't embarrass me in front of my friends. Like, men are very simple in what we want. And a lot of girls can fulfill this, you know? So, for us, if you meet one girl, right, and she has these traits, etc., but something happens, you can find another girl that has these traits because men aren't as picky as women are. You guys are, I'm assuming all of you ladies here at the panel are pr- fairly picky, correct? So oh, for y'all, there's a one, but for us, there's not. That's <laughs> <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> like, like, like it's, it's very simple. The more selective you are, the more, um, the more important it is for you to find the one. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. But do you believe that? Say you can move on quickly as males, that's normal, but... Is there a female that you still like ponder over, like think about? For sex. For mm-hmm. sex, or do you miss their company, their presence? I think that's a that's 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 on the guy. I think a, a masculine trait as a man is being able to be indifferent to women. You can still miss someone rather than it's just you miss the sex. You of, know? of course, but like this is where as a man you got to be. It's actually one of the most attractive things that women find as a man is you have to learn how to be indifferent. Like you need to be, you learn how where. You're going to be the same guy whether that girl stays with you or not. And I right. think that's what women find the most attractive. It's like, damn, I can't take this guy off his fucking rock. Like, if I leave, he's going to keep doing what he's doing. If I stay, he's going to keep what I, okay, doing what so he's, what he's doing. Okay, so what makes you think the girl's going to be different when the guy stays with her, whether or not he's with her or not? Just that's like the I- point. That's what I'm trying to show here is that women are fairly replaceable and common. Okay, so Misogyny. it's turn it around. What if? You're replaceable just as much. Only reason they can say that because women tend well, to on. be more. You, you just said you're selective, right? Moving on. I mean, the same aspects you you brought about were just as selective. Are you picky with men? 
just as much as a guy is. No, you're not. No, no not, not at all. Men aren't picky. I they mean, don't not go for all. anything. I, I, if anything, not I not think all. a woman is less pickier than a guy is. No. In my own opposite. opinion. For sure. You're tripping. I don't agree with for that. Sure. Like opposite for sure. I mean, unless you're trying to plow, because like, that's no. different. A guy but, like, will be they're, quicker they're always to do just a one night stand than a female. <laughs> so they don't go for anything. Even the girls here are disagreeing with you. Yeah. Yeah. You do realize that even, like, the most selected, I mean, okay, let's use your profession, for example. How do you think you're able to make money as a bartender and being on OnlyFans if men are selective? Mm. Well, I think guys just don't really give a fuck. Oh. oh. So that's 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 just, your argument said. is done then. Yeah. Yeah, and no. I think us as women don't really give a fuck either. I'm oh, not really? really saying When's the last that? time you paid for a pornography subscription? Ooh. <laughs> you triggered my the answer is never. The answer is never. And it's, and it's because, hold on, and it's, that's not to shit on you. That's to say that you are selective. You, you're not going to pay for male porn. For what? You don't need to. Correct. That's my point. Women are selective. All right, all so right. since you are selective, all right, by definition, it. that means you are looking for the one because you are selective. Ooh. Us, on the other hand, you know, most guys like, you know, cook, clean, don't be a pain all in the right, ass, be right. attractive. I get that. I get that. Many women can, can replicate that. Yeah, I know. I mean, right. let's that say we go to a bar, right? And I'm walking in. You're walking in separately, of course. This guy's here. Girl's there. Let's say I walk in there. Girls are hot. I, I'm going to hit all of them. You walk in there. Guys are there. They might be hot, but some might be ugly. Who are you going to pick? You're going to be what? Selective for it because you don't want to fight every guy in there, right? Correct. But... <laughs> All right, no. Guys are I'm just saying, though. It's just in your nature. Hey, we'll make it simple. Be honest. Let's say you got 10 guys that are all attractive, etc., and they check all your boxes, right? Let's say I got 10 girls that are my, my top, my hot, whatever. Okay. You're going to pick the top guy. I'm going to pick the top five girls. See the right, difference? Because you're just horny and we're not. That's the point. But that's the point. That's the point that you are, okay. that you, you are more selective than us. It's built in your biology. How right, many but kids? What if we're just as horny? It, that's irrelevant it's because good. women when women are horny i'll tell you why it's irrelevant when women are horny they want to have sex with the guy that they're attracted to that one guy yeah, and they okay. want to continue to have that sexual bond with that one guy it doesn't matter how attracted i am to you i'm still going to want new pussy so you're telling that's me that's the difference so you're telling me you fuck every girl that you meet absolutely not there you but go. You're saying you fuck every girl that you meet? Almost. Yeah. You realize, yeah. Hold on. Oh, matter of fact, hold on. Okay, no, interesting. Now the conversation you, 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 someone, someone gave me an interesting statistic. Um, something like it, some some staggering majority of um, OnlyFans subscribers are married men. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah. What does Not that prove? Not necessarily. It, but a majority are. What does that prove? The guys are just horny. They're dogs. They want, th th but hold on. Horny in what way? They're just down to... Yeah. No, they're horny. Going. They're horny. You're missing a point. For variety. Oh, for anything. Variety is. Not the necessarily key. variety. They're anything. Different girls. Okay. Versus yes. when women are horny, it's like I want to fuck my man. With men, it's like I want to fuck okay. a new girl. <laughs> right. So yeah. anyway. you got it now. Yeah, understandable. Yeah, no, for real. Very understandable. What were you saying? No, say I, so? I was just gonna answer the question. Like I was gonna, I was gonna say, yeah, they want somebody else. But he already said it. So. But you know that again correlates with her eight-year relationship because maybe that was, you know, some people' mind sense rather than moving on. Some people are afraid to move on. They'd rather stay with the same person that they're still doing intercourse and feelings and everything with. And they bypass the red signs just to stay with that same body, basically. Yeah, okay. comfortability. Yeah. 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 But that's why like girls have exes and they, they, they never leave. Because yeah. they know if Type my shit. new guy messes up, I go back to my ex. There's no and body it's that like, I'm losing. Damn, I'm going to go to the next person so they could F up. When the last person probably didn't do as much so you... Your comfortability is with that last person, rather than a you male. You just don't want new bodies. That's what it really rather is. Rather than a male who don't give a fuck. Yeah, because it's like, yeah, nigga, you don't what's want new the bodies. point? Like, as a female, I be thinking like, what's the point? I'm gonna let you for what? For but, what? But imagine, but not all. But imagine a guy now. That's scary because now, if you have multiple exes, I don't know who you, who you go back to. Yeah. We might get an argument. Hey, you know what? Fuck this yeah. nigga, man. I'm going over here. So you, you spent two days and come back smiling. Yeah, you never know. You never know, man. I'll also, I'll go a step further. She's from the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom is a very westernized, feminized country, just like the United States and all the other English-speaking countries. Um, women are indoctrinated to think that it's okay to be a provider. It's okay to be a leader. It's okay to ha be a power couple and all this other bullshit that we lie to women. Um, and she like you know I, I think a part of it and you can please correct me if I'm wrong here a little bit of his little a little bit of his like feminism and indoctrination to let you think that like it's okay and it's appropriate 
for you to be a breadwinner in your relationship. And I think that's a big lie that feminism mm -hmm. tells women is that it's okay to be a provider. I think that's a fucking problem. Absolutely. Like, the culture difference from England to the United States was fucking unreal. Like, when I came here for the first time last year, mm. I was fucking blown away. That By I BBC? Huh? Yeah. She, like, she just said he's not black. <laughs> No, but I she mean, was, but uh, this is before yeah. the next. Oh, uh, uh, okay, okay. What's no, 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 like a guy opening a fucking car door for me, like, I was like, what the fuck? Like, mm. the difference between English guys and American guys. Mm -hmm. Night, night and day. Where, where were you at in the United States, particularly? Because because it can be super um, liberal depending on where you're at. Where were you at in the United States where you saw the chivalry and it blew you away? I did loads of states. I did Miami. I did New York. I did Virginia. I okay. Did Washington. Okay. So, so the chivalry. Where, where was the chivalry most most uh, prominent at? Here, Miami. Yeah. Okay. Predominantly Florida. Yeah. It was in Florida. Yeah. Okay. And Florida's a south. it's a red state. It's the south. Yeah. yeah. Miami, I would say, is still somewhat like. We understand men and women are different here, right? Like the women are a bit more feminine here than other places, and the men tend to be even more but Latino. But also, the women blew me away as well. Like the expectations that women have from men. Holy fucking shit. It's yeah. like, <laughs> tough. Yeah. That blew me away. Like, I actually went on a date, like, the first time I came here, mm. and he was, like, you know, a millionaire, picked me up in a flash car. I was like, yo, what the fuck so... is this? Like, and he <laughs> it's a movie. Uh, yeah, smash for real. First date? For real. Yeah, and he took, he took me out. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, he took me out. He paid for me a meal. You know, he bought me drinks. And then we went to the bar. And I bought him a drink, and he was like, what the fuck? He was like... He was offended? He was like, I've never had a bitch ever a bitch? fucking Wait. offer, pay, <laughs> offer Wait, to he, pay for me oh, a drink. He called you a bitch? No, <laughs> no. But, like, a female, like, he's never been out yeah. with a woman yeah. who's bought him a drink. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, you know, why? if I didn't go to London all those times in the UK in general, uh, I would have uh, been like, you're fucking crazy. But, dude, they're super woke over there. Yeah, very. You guys are very woke over there. You guys don't even have free speech. And it's I wild. guarantee you, with that guy that for eight years, you didn't think you could, you could do any better? Huh? Like, eight years ago, right? The guy that you were with? Oh, yeah. I was completely, like, blindsided. Like, yeah, I thought that was see anybody my else life. At all. Like, the concept mm -hmm. of a guy be being chivalrous wasn't even a, a thing, right? Yeah I, yeah, I was in a bubble, like, a complete bubble. Like, bro, she's England smash, bro. was, like... <laughs> A Springfield dome, like yeah. I, I needed yeah. to break out and break. Yeah, break, I'm bro. not gonna hold you. The UK is depressing as fuck, bro. Oh my god, the UK is depressing, bro. Yeah. Absolutely, I cannot live there. Yeah, it's horrible. The man them going yeah. down. I, 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 I think a big part of <laughs> you <laughs> sitting around for eight years is obviously yeah, comfort. You know each other, etc. That's of course very important. But I think another big thing that is kind of like the uh, silent killer that no one talks about is like in the West we have this prevailing feminism that tells women you know you can do it be strong you know you can be equal to your man you can be a leader too you could be a boss babe and i think that's actually very poisonous to women it sets them up for long-term failure yeah because i i think if you had like known this earlier like let's say i had met you eight years ago and i told you you're a fucking idiot what are you doing with this fucking brokey you're paying all the bills what the fuck are you doing might have changed your mindset and you're like what the fuck am i doing and then you leave them you, you get in your prime years and you might meet another guy who knows yeah. you know i'm you know of, of course it's like a whole other universe but there might be a girl watching this right now that's in a relationship with a guy like that where she's paying the bills or he's a fucking bum he's smoking weed every fucking day and everything mm -hmm. else like that so i mean we're real you know people know us for like criticizing women on this podcast but we actually criticize men a lot too i tell guys all the time like you're only as useful as what you provide as a man like you can't make it through life off of your looks you can't make an OnlyFans at 18 and make a bunch of money or be a bartender and rely on your looks. Like, we would never be able to get a be a bottle, dude. That's not happening. Or a bartender. Like, we just don't have certain avenues open to us to make money based off of our youth and our beauty. It just doesn't happen. We make money off of our competence. That's how it is. Yeah, thank so, God. I'll, yeah. Be, I'll be in trouble.